Hey everyone, Mandy and Mike here. So racing season is like almost, we're pretty much almost there, right? Yeah, yeah. it's coming. <laughs> it is coming. So we wanted to give some tips to the drivers, the crew, the teams out there. Uh, you know, you see it all the time. Drivers come in, they have limited crew or they do have good crew. Either way, if they have help, people are like running around with their heads cut off. Am I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mandy, I just came in and the bumper's rubbing on the tire. Yeah. What do we do? Yeah. So when the driver's in the in the seat with his helmet on, it's kind of hard to relay what to say, what to do. But basically what we want to show you guys and give tips on are specific items you should carry with you. Whether you have a pit cart, um, toolbox, crash box. What do you think? Yeah, you know, no matter what kind of toolbox or trailer situation you have, uh, you got to have some sort of tools to work mm -hmm. with. And uh, even even the guys racing for a hobby or if you're doing it professionally, yeah. you still got to have something to be able to get your car back to the functionality to get it floated in the trailer <laughs> at least. Or does it at least back out on the track. Yeah, yes. um, even if it doesn't run, so... Yep, so uh, we're gonna show you a few of our tips that we like to carry with us and just some suggestions that will help you and your crew get back on the track quick. So one of the first things uh, you're gonna want is a big hammer. <laughs> um, we carry, we usually carry a sledgehammer in the trailer, um, or you know something like this. This won't get the job done if you have a bumper like pushed into your tire, though. People can hit all day with this. It's not big enough. You really need a, a larger sledgehammer. Um, a big crescent wrench like this is really helpful for uh, if you have. Like say the the 90 thou thickness nose pieces, uh, they're hard to straighten out where this can slide over it and and bend that tab back straight or something like that so it's not rubbing against the tire. Uh, we use a, sometimes rub rails, even if they're slightly bent, are really hard to get out. So we use a slide hammer and we, uh, we painted our our hook for the bumper orange so that you can find it quickly. You can loop that on the side rail and it helps you pull it out because it's hard to get between the body and the rubber rail to hammer the side rail out. Works for front and rear bumpers too, body mounts, anything. Uh, the, the other thing you're gonna want for rub rails is you're gonna want a punch because the pins that hold them in often get bent and the hardest part about getting them out is you gotta get that you gotta get that pin out before you're gonna get the rubber go out. They don't always come out easy. Uh, either the cheapest one would be a hacksaw, but you could also have a portable band saw or a sawzall to cut a bumper off or something if it was tough push into your tire, whatever. Uh, we also keep like a assortment of uh, bumper pins, Zeus buttons, cotter pins, things like that. All these situations depend on how much time you have to make these repairs. You know, if you only got one lap under caution, you're, not, you're, you're lucky if you can just get the hammer out and do something quick. But uh, if there's a red flag, you're going to have more time. So you want to be prepared for whatever you got. Uh, of course, we have wrenches, uh, screwdrivers, all the, the normal tools. But what I'm trying to do is trying to explain like what, what the extra stuff you could have to be prepared to fix your car. Another thing that's helpful is to have a pry bar uh, to be able to get in and pry something. Uh, whether you're prying it straight or just prying it to clear the tire. A lot of times the big issue is just getting the body or something away from the tire so that if you change a flat, it's not just going to come back in flat again. So another thing we keep handy, uh, 
that saved me last year is a shock tower with a shock mount. Uh, knocked one of these off in a points battle and team was able to hammer one in and get a shock back on and, and not only finish, but we passed cars and were able to go forward. Uh, if you don't have enough time to get shock tower change or don't have one, uh, sometimes you could just chain it up if you only got, you know, a few laps to go or whatever. This is less safe option, but if all else fails, it, it'll at least get the car in the trailer too. You know, a lot of times uh, it's not always about just getting back on the racetrack, but your car is all bent up at the end of the night. Uh, you got to be able to load it up and go home too. So there's a lot of different, uh, <laughs> a lot of different ways to get the thing back inside. So another thing, of course, is to have wrenches to change bolts. Uh, the most typical on our cars are three quarter and fifteen sixteenths. I like to have ratchet wrenches because they're faster. Uh, of course, an impact with sockets is faster too, but. If, if you can just have two of each of the main ones that you need handy, um, you know, aside from your regular wrenches in your toolbox, like maybe have an extra set of these um, laying out ready to go. And then um, if you broke a bolt, uh, to have some spare bolts is nice, but it's more important to have the ones that actually fit. So, um, you know, here we made a kit. Uh, you know, with a box that's got like labeled. So we got our front pan hard, our tie rod, um, you know, bolts with spacers for the for the rod ends and things like that. Uh, or whatever you may need. It's nice to have extra nuts and bolts. And then, you know, because maybe you, you know, you drop one or you lose one or if you're changing a tire, a lot of times the lug nuts get lost. So uh, we like to make up these little zip tie strips and if you keep them zip tied to your belt or whatever, your pants, if you change a tire and you drop a lug nut, you can just rip a lug nut off of there and they kind of, they pretty, pretty well stay there when you, when you need them. So it's always handy to have something when you need it and those are the things you get lost a lot. So there you have it. Those are the main items that we suggest having readily available for you and your team. God forbid, because we all know what happens, unfortunately. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you learned a few things. Uh, maybe, you know, like Mike has a uh, pit cart. My dad always had a crash box. My brother has a toolbox. So everyone has different things, but I think having them, like I said, just available so it's a quick grab and go. You can't beat that. So thank you guys. Appreciate it. Hopefully uh, we'll be at the track very, very soon. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the newsletter down below, and come back next time.